Hey my friends, I just want to give you a high five out there. I know that some of you are going through some tough times, uh, emotionally, mentally, socially, financially. I just want you to know that my prayers are with you. Uh, just keep the faith and just keep trusting God through out the circumstance God uh, makes all things turn out for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. All we got to do is walk after his spirit and not after the flesh. Look at his purpose and not the circumstances. The question I'm going to go over today with you is one regarding taking a sentence that's in a box inside the question and moving it. So keep in mind that a revising question uses the acronym ARM. So I, I am going to show you that I use my revising graphic organizer for that, where you have some content, which is the reading, the paragraph, or the passage. And then you're either going to A, R, or M something. You're going to add, remove, replace, or move the content. So in this case, we're going to be adding a sentence, green bracelet. We're going to be adding it to this paragraph. Paragraph, so if you look at my hand that's on my revising graphic organizer, we see that it does say palm, purpose, prompt, paragraph, or passage. And in this question, they're asking about uh, the best um, place to insert a sentence in paragraph two. Okay, so let me go ahead and read question number eight. It said, Julie forgot to add the following detail to the second paragraph. Okay, so we have add. Now, normally a detail is just a word or a phrase. But when you have a whole sentence, say your kids that details are sort of like dum-dums and that smarties are like sentences. We're going to have to add this whole sentence somewhere to the second paragraph. So you would teach your kids to make the paragraph single. It's sort of like a backwards P with a double vertical line. Number two, second paragraph, six, six through ten. So... Since you, if you count on your fingers, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whether you use my graphic organizer or you have your kids draw their own hand, all they have to do is figure out what is it they're asking us to add, that's the sentence that's going to be added or moved from this box, yellow, to somewhere in the second paragraph is. The first fair was made up of a few tables in the Sanderfers yard. That means it belongs to the Sanderfers store. Sometimes we do TMI. I, I know that TMI normally means too much information, but you can do a teachable moment of instruction when you say, draw a vertical line in front of the apostrophe, the contraction, and that way you can see it belongs to this case, the Sanderfers. That means that it's not sender fur, it's sender furs, so it belongs to that, that family that has that complete name. So, since we need to add it, the best thing to do is say, okay, well, let's go ahead and use our fingers. Our hand just happens to have five fingers, so we're going to label the fingernail sentence six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the answer choices say, do you want to move this per this this detail this sentence they first the first fair was made up of just a few tables in the Sanderfer's yard are you going to put it at f after 6 g after sentence 8 h after sentence 9 or j after sentence 10 so keep in mind that our Keywords are the first fair, just a few tables, okay? So that means 
since they were saying they were in their backyard, that means they had to set them up. So before you can have the fair, you need to set up for it. So let's see if there's a good place for that. Okay, sentence six says, uh, Jeff and Laura Sandifers helped start the first fair. Can you set up a few tables right there and then have a small, fun, successful event? Yes, that could work. Then it says, Sandifers invited the neighbor children and sell items. Okay, then they're going to set up the table. So between the two, if you don't set up the tables first, there won't have a place for them to place their items when they get there. So those were the two best answers. So if you think of a sequence of event, then the better place to set up the tables would be over here. The next one says, uh, after sentence nine, so let's see what it says. Uh, it was going to give the kids an opportunity to participate in business world and make the money. Well, what, we don't want to set up the tables way over here. We're already getting into the reason why we're having the fair in the first place and uh, what we're hoping is going to be the result of it. And it also says after sentence 10, so let's see what that says. Children also enjoy learning and having business ownership. So after basically the whole paragraph is already finished, uh, talking about setting up a few tables in their backyard. It wouldn't make sense to, when you're already gonna be done talking about the fair, to set up the tables. So that's how I would recommend that you teach your kids how to move a box sentence to a proper place in a paragraph. Thank you guys, and God bless. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, place a uh, link so that you can get a copy of this graphic organizer in case you like it. I have it on sale only for a dollar until the end of May. God bless you guys.